Hey guys, Kev here. And I got an unboxing to do for you. Unboxing. Uh, this package comes from Trevor Burger, baby. By way of DHL. And uh, it took a little while. Uh, of course, I'm always the last one to get something because of fucking shipping. Well, he actually put the wrong address down. He had the wrong zip code. So that threw things off. Luckily, I caught it because I'm awesome. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so he we were able to get it switched, luckily. It didn't go back to South Africa. Um, the unboxing knife is the Pena Mula Sons of Liberty exclusive. Ah, yeah. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. I really like this. Um, I do have somebody who wants to buy it. And, man, I got to think about it because I just don't love the relief cuts. It's still the same thing where it kind of gets your pocket, but it's not tearing it up. It's not catching. So I don't know. I may, uh, I'm going to let it ride a little bit. Beautiful hollow grind. Excellent action. Now this. Is a Trevor Burger. Is there something in here like a COA? No. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There's an envelope. An envelope. Is that a COA? Did I get two COAs? Oh, look at that. I've never actually bought anything directly from Trevor Burger. So here's a card of some sort. Check it out. Uh, then we have a sticker. TVC Knives. Check it out. Love Trevor Burger. Check them out on Instagram. And then we have a COA Urban XL M390 61 HRC Grade 5 Titanium Fat Carbon Inlay Tie Connector Hardware Tie Spacer Clip ceramic pivot and detent urban xl number two baby so you guys may know i have urban number one uh actually urban number zero zero one and i thought it'd be cool to match this to it with a slight change so here's the pouch oh boy oh boy oh yeah got that detent so, there it is, TBC number two. So, my Urban is number one, and obviously I tried to get number one to the XL, I couldn't, um, somebody else got it. So I got number two, and so I have number one and number two, Urban and Urban XL. Now, I got the, the build exactly the same. So this is the exact same build as my Urban, except, what -a! I got a copper dark matter fat carbon inlay on it instead of just plain tie. My Urban's just plain tie. So that's the only difference. Uh, that copper actually looks good. I'm not the biggest fan of the dark matter stuff, but I actually like it better than the uh, camo carbon copper. So uh, this is cool. Let's give her a rip. Okay, you got the uh, Trevor Burger blade. I think this is a hollow grind. Better be. Feels like one. You got the XL size of the Urban. So same knife. Uh, it does fit my hand pretty well. The Urban literally like melts into my hand. But this is good too. I mean, it's bigger, of course, which, you know, I don't need it to be bigger. But let's see the clothes. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Okay. What was that about? I just gotta get used to it. I think the detent is just stronger on this than my Urban. And my Urban's pretty tight. She drops down, smooth shake. I think you gotta just flick it from lower because it's a bigger knife. Your hand doesn't line up in the same spot. No play, I mean, maybe the slightest if I really wrench on it. 
And the action feels good. Centering, dead nuts. I expect nothing less from Trevor. So the lefty flick, just gotta get used to it, I think. The clip is not gonna be an option. Like the clip is all the way down here. So there's no like climbing under the clip. So I gotta do the lean move, which I which works on the uh, Urban. I just lean right onto the frame. Because he has such a thin lock bar, you can lean over to this side. And flick it that way. The acoustics are a little duller than my LEXK. The front flipper sticks up a little more than on the Urban, so you definitely get more of a grab. It's more of like a Atlas front flipper than the Urban or the EXK, which is nice. Uh, it's nice to have a little extra room there to grab. Man, he really, really dials in a detent tight as hell. I mean, it's insane how tight it is. But because of that front flipper, it pops pretty easy. I can get the lefty flick pretty good. Yeah, it's just a matter of playing with it. You have a sharpening choil, it just got like a notch there. There's nothing else there. Um, feels pretty good in the hand. Yeah, I, I like the knife. I'm not, you know, I'm not like dying in love here. Uh, I think I still prefer the uh, the uh, regular size Urban. So, I mean, right-handed, it's pretty much, you know, ready to go. I might mess with it, take it apart, and see. I mean, he uses really good bearings himself. Doesn't seem necessary, but I wonder acoustically if I could get more out of it than what it is now but I don't know feels really good I, I like the knife a lot let me check the clip oh yeah good clip this was I believe $925 with that fat carbon inlay uh, and the hand satin M390 blade I think they started at 8 50 or something like that so it was like 60 bucks 70 bucks for the inlay totally worth it in my opinion so i'll carry it i'll use it i'll see what i think um ultimately and uh i'll do a review hopefully i mean there's always the chance that i just up and sell it randomly i do that you guys know that it's a little bit big. I knew it was going to be big. So it's a little bit big, but. Uh, burgers also, it seems lately, they don't hold their value like crazy. Like you're, I see them going for way less than uh, retail. So I, there's no way I want to lose money on this immediately. So I don't know, but I do like it. I just got to get used to it. The lefty flick, I don't know, with the Urban, I just, I think it's because of the size of the knife, like where my hand is, because it's such a smaller knife, I can just slide out of the way and flick it. On this, I have to like adjust my grip lower, get out of the way and flick it. It's not as natural. Uh, where right-handed, you just pick the knife up and you can pretty much flick it, right? Um, so that's my one, that's my one kind of like, thing right now lock bar access is great yeah sweet knife all right that's it guys there you go that's the urban xl i'll let you know how it goes i love you guys shout out to trevor burger thank you dude much appreciated uh his knives are absolutely epically made they're just so good i mean man you should be able to grab that tip and cut yourself you know but you just can't i mean i just don't get it. It's insane. Oh, man. All right, I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fanta fantastic day, and I will catch you 
Later. Hey guys, Kev here. And I got a fun one for you. So you guys might have just seen my unboxing of the Trevor Burger Urban XL. And uh, yeah, I'm digging it. My only gripe really is that Lefty, you know, this I've mastered, right? This is the uh, Urban, you can see here, number one. And we got number two is the XL. The only difference is this inlay. This one, solid snappy detent. This one, snappy detent. Drops, shake down. Drops, shake down. Flicks out with that full hollow grind. I mean, it's definitely just a XL version, but anyway, I wanted to take it apart and just see what's going on in there. Maybe clean it up. I feel like there's the tiniest bit of stick, uh, but I wanted to show you guys the uh, urban next to it. So I'm gonna try to do this relatively quick. I, I believe it's a T15. I have a 10 in here, so let's see. Yeah, there's some room in there. So let's try to find the 15 real quick. There's a 15. <clears throat> This is a get good screw little beach driver, by the way. The only thing I don't like about it is that this happens. Like, I don't know what that's all about. Is it supposed to come out like that? I don't know. That's a better fit. And here we go. Doesn't look, oh yeah, there's definitely some Loctite in there. Grab some air and just fire it in. <laughs> usually my first step take that out then we're probably gonna need a t8 i hope t8 these go all the way through it's one thing i learned to love about trevor burger's designs i think it's a lot harder to line stuff up like this but those out then it's gonna try to pop on us so just or it's gonna just stay together are we missing a screw no might have to pry it just be gentle no no reason to get crazy here backspacer fell out Jesus. Look at that. It's just tolerance, man. Crazy. Use the blade to kind of wiggle it free. Here we go. There we go. All right. There's your scale. Just a slab. There's a little uh, bug there. We got a K in here for me. K for Kevin. That's how he keeps track. So he's using, man, it's just super tight tolerance on the pivot. Whatever he does to the pivot is why it's some of the smoothest knives you'll see. So he uses these 3 16 bearings, um, which I find it a little odd that he didn't upgrade those for this knife, but because it's a lot bigger, you know. It doesn't really matter. And there's a K right there on the blade, too. I'll probably get some alcohol on these. I don't know what kind of oil he uses. But I did recently handle a knife that came from Blade Gallery to my buddy Joe. And um, let's see if I can get this out. Oh, man. There we go. And it was caked in oil, man. It was like really oiled up. It was interesting. So I was thinking, like, is that something he does? Is that something they do at Blade Gallery? Is it just... You know, coincidence, he bought it new. Looks like it's probably more just a random thing that happened, or maybe Blade Gallery does, oils them for some reason, if the action feels off, or I don't know, but seems odd, because this is like basically bone dry. And that's how I remember my other ones too. 
basically bone dry. So what I'm doing now is just cleaning the pivot out because there was that Loctite in there. I want to get that out because I'm going to be re-Loctiting this. This is not a knife that I'm going to mess around with uh, super glue on. <laughs> I'm crazy, but not that crazy, guys. Just clean the insides here. And uh, the action was really good. I don't think we're going to improve action in any way. There's no reason to swap bearings. Um, you know, the the little bit of not drop shut we're getting is solely because of the pressure on the lock bar. Um, because Trevor likes a nice stout detent, and so do I. That's one reason I love Trevor Burgers is because we totally see eye to eye on um just looking at that blade grind look at that primary bevel is interesting um yeah we definitely see eye to eye on that i'm just cleaning all the surfaces here with alcohol i feel like i felt a little bit of stick but i'm guessing that's something that'll just wear in also, to adjust the lock bar on these, you have to remove this insert because you're usually going to adjust it. I mean, look at that pressure. Holy shit. Man, it's almost like that thing's ready to snap. Look how much tension he has on that lock bar. Holy shit. I don't think I've ever seen a lock bar out that far. Jesus. Um, yeah, you'd have to remove that and then you would end up, um, I've heard the, they're very press fit in, so it's just not worth it. And I honestly don't want to, uh, mess with it. Did I hit these bearings? I think I did, right? All right. Yeah, we can put her back together. There probably was no good reason to do what I did, but I like to look under the hood. And you should be able to maintain your knives, especially the ones that cost this much money. So put that in, grab my KPL. And I like to do it with the... Um, this side of the bearing facing the blade. I think that's how he does it, but I'm not positive. And then I'll put a little bit of, put a little bit KPL on the barrel here. Put the blade on. Okay, clean my hands off. I did not put any KPL heavy on the detent ball or the track, but I can get in there. Well, I don't want to touch the uh, lock face, so you know what? I'm going to leave it, and I'll do it after with a Q-tip. So I'm just going to bend that in a little bit. And then here comes the tricky part. Because these screws are not seated in the barrels, you kind of have to do it a different way. So I preset the backspacer like this. Then I hold it by the backspacer, which sticks out, and then I kind of go in like this. This is my method. not really tightening these I'm just kind of setting them 
Then we can check everything else. See that rock? It's crazy. I'm just gonna shut that. I think that's just because the pivot's not in. I'm gonna see if I can polish that up a little bit. And I'm just going to play with the pivot first and see how it goes. Instead of putting the Loctite in now and potentially playing with it after, which would basically nullify the Loctite, which I think is what my normal problem is. <laughs> I think I put the Loctite on and then I play with the pivot too much to get it set. So those you tighten down, you can see they're coming out of this side. They're threading there perfectly. So here we go. We're back together the way it was. We'll check centering. Centering looks good to me. Uh. <laughs> okay. If it's slightly over to the clip side, I don't think so. Let me just flip it. Try to get this oil off my hands so I'm not touching stuff with oil. Sorry, I'm in like close quarters. So this is with the pivot. Yeah, it's very tight. Still very smooth. Not quite dropping. So back off a touch. Hearing something. Hear that? I'm going to try the heavy on the lock bar real quick, or on the detent ball. Guessing it's just... I don't think it's a tappy click or clip. I just don't want any to get on the lock bar. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. And the centering is dead on. So I think I just over tightened initially. Let me just double check. Yeah, there's no play. Wow, that's really good. There is something in there. I don't know what it is. I'm just going to try. Hear it?
The only thing I can think of is one of, maybe I put the bearings in the opposite way. Then they like it, I don't know. Still feels smooth. No stick or anything. I don't know if that screw is loose. Well, I don't know what that is. A T, it's not even a T6, I don't think. It is, but it's not loose. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and lock tight it. So here's the plan. Check tightness again. Clean the screw off. Don't know if I did that originally, so I'm going to do it again. Get any kind of grease or oil off of that pivot screw, because that's what's going to be holding our Loctite. I have not had issues with uh, Trevor Burger's Loctiting, luckily. Put way too much on. Centering looks dead on. Go ahead and call it right there. Centering is perfect. I didn't hear any of that sound. I think we're good. So just stuck with the stock bearings. There's no reason to mess with these. They're fantastic, guys. Absolutely fantastic bearings. So there it is. Trevor Burger Urban XL number two. I haven't messed with this one since I initially got it. I did a uh, disassembly of it. I think I still prefer this knife. Just the size just makes way more sense to me. Um, now, I haven't had that one as long as this, and this one had a previous owner. So, you know, there could be a break-in period where that one's going to get as smooth as this. But this, this knife is just stupid. Stupid, stupid smooth. I mean, it's insane how smooth it is. Um, you know, there's no play. There's nothing. And it drops like that. Shakes down. I can double check these screws. Are they T6s? No, they look like 8s. I just love the size of this, you know, it just, my hand fits it perfectly. I don't know. I just think that one's a little too big, maybe. We'll see long term which one I, you know, if I keep both or whatever. This one I don't see going anywhere ever. Um, it's interesting, the screws are actually different color. I, I wanted it to match this one. Um but it doesn't. That's gold. That's like bronze. So, I don't know. It's, maybe it's supposed to be the same color. I might hit them up and see if I could order a screw set, but eh. Yeah, I think it's just discoloration, or maybe over time this will darken or something. But I mean, they're basically the same. I think it looks sick. 
one and two. Right? All right, I'm going to shut up. Sorry, guys. I let it lock tight, and then I'll start the review process. I love you guys. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day, and I will catch you. Oh, by the way, all this stuff comes from KPL, Knife Pivot Loop. Um, I know I mention it in every video, but I truly love their stuff. It's not because you know, they do send me stuff. I do get commission if you buy their stuff, um, but I absolutely love it. I mean, you can see how much I use it. I actually taped over this. Oh, no, this is supposed to be the new uh, bottles, new labels that don't rub off. That's how much I use this shit. It still rubbed off. <laughs> like, it's insane. And then the Q-tips and everything, their rust preventative stuff. They just have an amazing selection. They have, um, they have Loctite. I mean, they have all types of stuff. I do get my Loctite from OrionKnives.com, so uh, it might be worth checking them out. Although I did refill this. I just bought um loctite uh blue i think it's 121 maybe is the one i get the oil tolerant um and then i just filled this back up but you can get these needles on amazon to put with this bottle so you get the bottle off orionknives.com you get these off of amazon you just search a uh, needle applicator or something and it'll come up it's like five bucks you get the, a bunch of these tips um uh, but anyway Check out knifepivotlube.com. Use my code LEFTY10. Check out orionknives.com. Check out Trevor Berger. Uh, just an awesome dude. Awesome product. Just his knives, guys, are next level. So, all right. I love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely fantastic day. And I will catch you later.